Staying on the subject of safety in schools, we look tonight at a distraught parent who is lamenting the mistreatment and assault of her child at Kaga Boys High School in Meru County. The parent says her child, who was to sit his KCSE exams this year, was brutally assaulted by school prefects while in school, causing extensive injuries and psychological trauma. The teenager has since refused to go back to the school out of fear. Crime reporter Franklin Walla reports that the parent says she has not been able to get justice. Graphic images shows the result of the brutal assault of a 17-year-old student by prefects at Kahaga Boys High School in Meru. He had been accused of stealing 6,000 shillings from a Form 1 student, but the prefects were unable to prove their case. He says they waited for night time and set upon him. The severity of the incident further worsened by the fact that the beating was meted by fellow students entrusted with authority by the institution. One of them is the school captain, a dining hall captain, a uh, uh, dorm captain, class prefect. It happened on the night of 5th June 2024, and the victim says it stopped only because he ran away when he got the chance. It was the only thing he could do at around 1 a.m. jumped over the fence. Um, it was midnight, remember? And he was barefooted and he did not have clothes because they are taking off his uniforms. He was just wearing a vest. He had to walk all the way from Kaga Boys to Meru Town, alone at night, injured. He had sustained very bad injuries out of that beating. His mother received what she described as a call from a stranger. I received another phone call from the owner of Meru Uniform Shop who told me she, has, she had rescued my son from a crowd that was building up opposite her shop. She requested the Good Samaritan to take the student to Meru Police Station, where the matter was reported. Now what hurt me most is that when this crowd was surrounding my son, it was very horrible for him. He was traumatized and he didn't know what would have happened to him. Medical reports show the student suffered serious injuries on the limbs, part of the chest, an eye injury and other bodily injuries occasioned by the assault. I was not informed about this incident by the school administration. I was called from Meru town. The deputy principal was fully aware of what transpired that night. The school principal allegedly persuaded the student to give false information on what had transpired. Apparently, this was meant to jeopardize investigations. After the hospital, the principal was looking for a chance to try to influence my son to lie about that incident. Because it's at that point, he asked my son that if any investigators come to school to investigate about that incident, he should tell them that uh, the injury, especially the one on his eye because he couldn't see, uh, he sustained it while he was uh, jumping over the fence that he was pricked by a thorn. The principal, who did not agree to our request for an interview, said he was aware of the case and it was under investigation. He insisted the teenager was not assaulted by fellow students at the school, saying the victim was attacked by unknown people when he ran away from school. He had no explanation on why the student ran away from school. We give our kids or our, our, our children to go to school. We expect the school to take care of them. The matter was reported at Meru Police Station on the morning of the 6th of June under OB number 15. The police are yet to make any progress according to the victim and his mother. He is the one who was the victim, he is the one who was assaulted, and he is the one who is still losing out on education. The doctor's report indicated that the teenager sustained bruises on the upper and lower limbs and the left side of the chest. He also sustained eye injury swelling 
and a tender eye with blood vision and that he also sustained bruises secondary to the assault on his lower limbs. The doctor, noting that the probable type of weapons that caused the injuries were blunt objects, punches and kicks. These boys must be arrested. This is a police case. I can't believe like that can happen in school. The school let me down. A student is brutally assaulted by fellow students at the school. The student's campus for safety in the neighborhood and he is rescued by a well-wisher. Several months later, the school has remained unbothered by what befell the minor. The form for students' prospects of sitting this year's KCSE exam are in doubt, as he has not set foot in the school since he ran away. Although police maintain the investigation is still underway, the teenager's mother remains in the dark, unaware of what is happening. I followed the matter with the, with the, with the Ministry of Education and I've not got a solution from them. Franklin Wala, Citizen TV.